Hey, this is Matthew. And this is Andrea. Welcome back to Nerd News today for another action figure review. And today's going to be one that's a little bit different because we're not really looking at a specific figure. We're nope. looking at kind of a line in general. Yep. So we were at Five Below not that long ago. I love Five Below. They should if, really sponsor us. Yes. Yes, they should. We, we buy lots of stuff there. We do. We bought many things at Five Below. <laughs> and uh, we happen to find some really cool wrestling stuff there every now and then. Mm -hmm. And on this particular visit, we ended up finding a line that I've been contemplating buying for a while. I've been holding off on it. And finally, they were there. Yeah, so you have to get them. Yeah. So today, we're going to take a look at the WWE zombie line from Mattel. That's right. Oh. So this is going to be a random zombie review, basically, because we got, as you can see here, Kevin Owens, Brock Lesnar, and, and the boss herself, Sasha Banks. Oh, yeah. It's boss time. Yeah. Yeah. We know where you're going with that one. I was going to try and... I was going to say something else, but I'm going to try and be, use good language today. <laughs> So yeah, these are our zombie figures, and uh, I don't know why I've held off this long on buying them. I don't know either, <laughs> because they're awesome. Yeah, they really are. I mean, they've had a whole bunch of different lines. I think this, they've had at least four waves now, maybe a fifth? Oh, something like that. It's, yeah. It's definitely been a few. It's a very expansive line, uh, and in fact, so uh, I think this might actually be what we're looking at today is Series 2, a few of the figures from Series 2. Yeah. Uh, and so you can see, in fact, I'll show you guys the back of the box. That's It's a little bent up, but you want to show them Kevin Owens, he's in better yeah. shape. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll hold them up here. Okay, yeah. So um, in the line, you got Stone Cold Steve Austin, Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, Sasha Banks, and AJ Styles, along with Brock. Brock. Lesnar over there. Yeah, so... The only acceptable Brock is a zombie Brock. He really is. I mean, I gotta say, I don't really care much for basic figures, but wow, these are really great looking figures. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm gonna use Kevin again, just since his package is a little bit flatter. They got kind of messed up in transport. But, I mean, what's really cool about the boxes is look at how the sides are. They're all jagged that they would chewed on. They made it very, they zombified it. They spent a lot of time on these boxes. Yeah. Even the blister, the the, the uh, packaging here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just noticed that. Yeah. Like, a... yours is, Kevin's is rounded. This one is almost like it's a gate. And Sasha is kind of like a casket almost. No, let me see. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Totally. It's like she looks like she's in a wooden box. Yeah. Box? Basically, like she's in a coffin or something, which is That's pretty cool. That's really cool. I, did, I hadn't noticed that before. So, yeah, so then there's really, again, really awesome illustrations on the front and back. And yeah. you can see it better on the back of the box. And they also have like a little bit of, uh, I guess, a storyline for them all, which is kind of cool. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. This, they're just kind of riffing off of it. For Brock, they say, you know, he's now in charge of zombies <laughs> in Zombie City, devouring his way through its post apocalyptic. Population one soul at a time. Yeah, but it's pretty cool because like it says Sasha is known as a legit boss But when she crosses over to the other world, she's the reigning boss supreme legit zombie style Ooh. Yeah. But, and Kevin Owens they basically just say you know he'll take on any um He'll, he'll fight any challenger and fight Owens fight but now he it as a zombie It's you know, it hasn't really changed, but it's bite Owens bite But I do kind of like that little touch to add some backstory to them I, I It's kind of fun. They're, they're really having a lot of fun with this line. I it, think so. Yeah, it shows you know, I, I like that. I like when they have fun. They get really creative and silly and interesting. And, yeah. I like it. It's actually, it's brains. Oh, cool! Yeah, it's actually brains on Kevin oh, Owens' so box. Oh, so Kevin's in brains. Yeah, he's going to eat some brains. Mm, yum. We should open these. Maybe brains. Play. Yeah, all right, let's go. I'm, I'm going to open up Kevin. I'll open so, up Brock. Yeah, again, these were, we found these at five below in the U.S., uh, which meant that they were only $5, yeah. which was a total steal. How could I say no to these? No, you're really. Like, yeah, I mean, at this point, I was like, man, I've, I've held off for so long, but for five dollars, can't go wrong, really. Yeah. You could buy far, far worse things than that amount of money. These I'm are very little, noisy boxes. Yeah, I'm a little jealous though because your blister came with the brains blister. Mine just, you is just a regular black, yeah, you know, a regular block. Okay, I'm just gonna start. Look at that leg detail. Oh my, yeah, no, these things are so gross. Like, I don't collect horror figures at all. Oh my god, look at this leg. Look at this leg. Hey, he's dancing. He's they, doing a kick line. They put a lot of really cool details like that in these figures. This is so cool. I mean, it's not just that the knees are dirty and the clothes are ripped. I mean, he's got, it, it's ripped over here. He's got claw marks. His face is stupid, but eh, it's rock. Yeah. You know, and look at that. Like, his chest is falling over. The tattoos, they did a great job on the tattoos. Uh, I mean, all around, the the detailing on the arm is just so cool. All, and it's basically, it's like they just took a basic figure and just kind of remolded it. Yeah. Which is fun. And, uh, you yeah. know, they spent a lot of money retooling these figures, too. But, you I mean. Can, you can see that. I mean, this is just fantastic. I love, and I love that his mouth is open. I do. Because it's just like, ah, I have to eat you on. Bite, Owens, bite. Look at this Kevin Owens. Oof. <laughs> That coloring, though, he is very different. He oh, they has a all very have, different shade. They all have different colors. I know, and I like that. 
I like I like that they have the different shades, even though Kevin looks a little Kermity to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's been underwater. He might have been, yeah. So I really love that Kevin Owens has all this great zombie detail. Also, he has like his arms are torn up. It looks like he's been chewed on by someone else. Yeah, I think you mentioned something about his deltoid. Animal. Yeah, his deltoid is all ripped up over there. His face has got this like really cool bruise on the side of it, and his pants are all torn up too. So it's like they basically took the original molds and just kind of redid them a little bit. Yeah, for which the most is part. great. I mean, they also changed. You know, instead of fight Owens fight, it says bite Owens bite. Yeah, it's really cool. Just loving all the attention to detail. Check out the ear. It's been chewed on. <laughs> that's very great. Like little things like that. They didn't need to do much, but they just add really great touches to it. Yeah. Okay. And what ended up really selling me on the line was when I saw Sasha and how good Sasha looked as a zombie. Yeah, Sasha. Oh, ah! Down she goes. Zombie Sasha down. She makes a fantastic zombie. She really does. Who knew we'd ever say that? Oh, uh, I mean, not first. Most importantly, check out that foot. I know her foot. foot. Her boot. Her boot is chewed through. So her like raw, yeah. gross foot is sticking through. I mean, even the back of the back of the chewed up foot, you can see that it's all scraped up yeah it looks so good uh, i mean she's the least um ripped up comparatively because i mean the guys are just like yeah. they kept the female figures pretty safe looking mm. like charlotte is probably the one that has the most going on yeah charlotte looks pretty hideous yeah she's really good <laughs> i know it's great um but sasha she just basically she's got the gray she's got the funky foot and she's got you know like a rip on her forehead yeah and so it's nothing crazy but she looks so good. She really does. And yeah, just the gr great, great detail in there. Uh, even the glasses are kind of like off kilter. I know, I love it. It's like little tiny things that just add up to make a really cool figures overall. It makes them much more personable. You know, it gives a lot of personality to these figures. And I like that a lot. And they've done a lot of these and they're all really great. Like they've done the Hardys now. They did Nakamura, which looks like his thriller Nakamura. Yeah, that one's so great. Like they're all really, really fun, well thought out figures. Now, oddly enough, I don't know if you remember when we saw Wave Two. I think it was, I think it was Wave Two or Wave One originally. They actually had Hulk Hogan in the line. And oh yeah. It didn't get produced because all the stuff with Hogan happened around mm -hmm. the same time. Yeah. But that was a really cool figure where it was basically it was Hogan doing the whole shirt ripping thing. Yeah, only it was like his inside. He, he was ripping off yeah. his. He's actually literally ripping off his pectorals. I, I do remember that. That was showing his rib cage. Pretty disgusting. This one. Okay, I gotta tell you, I'm holding Brock and it just feels. So creepy. Yeah, with all the guts and stuff. N no, f here, you hold him. Hold, hold him. Yeah, you, you can have Kevin. I'll, I'll take Kevin and look at him. Oh yeah, because he's all ragged and yeah. ripped apart and like. So it, it's also um, worth noting that especially on Brock, so a lot of those exposed muscle bits, they're actually smoother. The, the, yeah. the finish on them is a little bit different. So the flesh is one kind of paint application, and the muscles are kind of this like smoother, slimier almost feeling. Yeah, except then you have um like with Kevin and with Brock, especially with the leg. Um, they added a lot, they added like a couple of layers because that way they gave it more depth and they made it more muscly yeah. and ripped. It's really interesting how they did this. Cause like Kevin's hand, Kevin's hand over here, um, it's just the one color, the one shade of pink and everything. But then you go up to his shoulder and it's just gross. Yeah. <laughs> and I love it. So I just noticed like on Sasha's, uh, necklace, it's still the same boss necklace, but on her shirt it says legit, it said a legit boss. It's legit undead. Oh, wait, I didn't see that. Oh, that's awesome. Speaking of the female figures also, this is uh, an older line. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you are looking for these, these still have the original female figure uh, body types where the upper torso, basically, it's basically an elite figure. Yeah. It's an elite uh, women's figure, which is really cool. The basics used to have that. So uh, if you are buying these, these are still quite a value just because of how articulated they are. Yeah. Yeah, I really regret not buying more of these sooner. And now that I found them at Five Below where they were at a price where I was okay getting them, uh, I'm definitely going to have to buy now all of these. Okay, so this is a really hard thing to, to notice, just so you know. Um, but Kevin's teeth are funky. Yeah, it, no, they're really gross. I mean, it's, it's not just that they're yellow. And they painted the tongue red, so you do get to see a difference. So it's not like just that. Bleh. Um, But, like, two of his teeth on the side are just, they're just funky. Look at that. Yeah, it's all... He's all gnarled, and he's had better days. It's great. Canadian zombie Kevin Owens. Yeah, it's just trying to see it. It's like, blind like me, I'm not going to. They, they just look so good. And there's so many more to get, and I'm going to have to get them all. I know. And, I'm yeah, so excited. Finally going to do it. I feel bad because I missed out on that first wave, and that wave is hard to get. Mm -hmm. I think right. that first wave had Paige, although yes. I can't tell if she's a zombie or not. She's already so pale. Yeah. 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 But yeah, these three we got are pretty good start. It's a pretty good mix of different things, uh, and, they, so and you know they range from kind of like more tame, like Sasha, to 
more grotesque like Brock to even more hideous. Like, um, Stone Cold is the the really overdone one. Stone Cold, and I think Jeff Hardy. Uh, and Triple Matt, H. No, Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy is pretty gross too. And they did a Triple H where he, you know, all skeletal. Skull King Triple H. That it was, was a good great. one. Yeah. So if you're a fan of horror stuff, zombie stuff, and you like wrestling, then this is really the perfect oh, line yeah. for this you. Is absolutely. Fantastic line. But yeah. you know, even if you're not a huge fan, they're really worth giving a look to because they're just really well done. They're really well done. They're interesting. They're kind of fun. Uh, I, I like them. Yeah. I and if them. you head over to Five Below, I mean, price is right. Find all sorts of stuff there. So if you have a Five Below where you live, uh, go ahead and see what they have there. Because you never know what they're going to have. They might have other things. They've gotten a lot of good wrestling things in the past oh, yeah. year or so. So yeah, I recommend checking them out. But really, what we recommend checking out is all these WWE zombies. Mm-hmm. Absolutely worth hunting down. You know what? I, I have to say... Um, WWE's had a few other random lines, like they had a Mutants line, and they yeah. had the classic movies, classic horror movies lines, and something about it, I think it's because they're allowing themselves to have some, you know, to be more creative. Some of that stuff is also really good to check out. Yeah, we reviewed uh, that Mummy Jericho. Yeah, we, we reviewed Mummy Jericho, and that thing looks awesome. Yeah. And I'd gotten some of the Mutant line, the Mutants line, and... You know, they, I ended up giving him to my nephew, but he re- originally was like, no, I'm not that interested in him. Then I showed it to him. He's like, yeah, I'm interested in them. Yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> so I'm just saying, I think the WWE is having a lot of fun with these lines. Um, Zombies is clearly the most popular because um, they've had a few waves now. And you guys got to check this out. And I hope we get more zombies because as of now, we, uh, we didn't see anything new. We haven't heard any news about it. So I'm hoping that doesn't mean that zombies are dead. But if they are dead, at the very least, they're still easy to find and they're not mm. that expensive. Some of them get a little bit more pricey from the older waves yeah. or the more popular mm-hmm. figures. But you can still find them uh, and probably complete the entire series for maybe like $200 for everything. Yeah, it's, it's really reasonable. Yeah. A lot of them. So that's our quick little brief look at a bunch of different WWE zombie figures from Mattel. They're really cool. We dig them. I dig yeah, we do dig them. Well, do, do, do you have a rating system for them? I gave them err out of err. I concur. Yeah. Brains. <laughs> so I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. Thanks for watching our review. That's our look at the WWE zombies. We'll see you guys next time with some more action figure reviews and maybe eat some brains. Bye-bye. Praise. Praise.